guys welcome back to my channel before you run away i know i look like a brawl face potato but that's okay because i wanted to have a good starting point for this video because as you can see by the title you are finna get that snatch honey so without further ado because i don't like staring at my face when i ain't got nothing but foundation on let's get started all right y'all so we're gonna really work on this video because my original video got deleted story of my life so we are going to really get this face done and i'm gonna get it up this time because like what the fuck all right y'all so we've already seen how i've done my nose we've learned the process of applying concealer to get a bright under eye so now we're gonna keep going and put it all together so in my previous video i taught you how to get perfect makeup for photos you know so that you don't look crazy harsh but still have enough you know um while still having enough you know glow to the skin but yeah so now we're putting it all together so the concealer really plays into how your contour will look so we're gonna go ahead and do our first concealer this is the makeup revolution concealing define in the color c12 and i am going to go in to highlight and sculpt the face um you want to add this to the areas where you want filler okay so this would be the areas that you want to lift up um and also i'm really going to go into color a little bit and i'm going to go in a little bit deeper when i start actually applying my contour so color is really really important when you're doing your concealer for your highlight and your contour if you're not seeing a difference when you do these steps then number one you're wasting your money and you're using because you're using the wrong color okay you're using a shade that just blends too much into your skin you need to go a little bit lighter because when you blend it in your foundation is already there so you need to see a difference you know what i mean so that's why you're not seeing a difference when you're doing all this because you're using something that's too close to your foundation shade so what shade should you use i guess is the question that y'all want to know right i know this sounds like a bunch of bull but it doesn't necessarily matter how many shades lighter that you go as long as you blend it out enough um, you really, the main thing that you just want to pay attention to when picking out your colors for your highlighting, your contour is the undertone. Okay. Using a wrong undertone that can make you look ashy. That can make you look dead. The flashback look, even though it's not even flashback because flashback comes from excess powder sitting on the face and it's reflecting off of light. Okay. That's what flashback is. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the concealer. If you're using a concealer that's too neutral, that can give you a grayish undertone. If you're using a concealer that's too cool, that can give you an offish undertone. If you're using a concealer that's too warm, too peachy, too yellow, all of those things can make you look oompa loompa orange, okay? So you really just want to know your undertone. Um, the easiest trick, um, especially for beginners, like if you don't necessarily know like your undertone, you just know warm, cool, neutral, look at jewelry so if the skin um reflects better in gold this undertone is going to be warm so you know your warm colors you got to take this back to elementary school art class warm colors your orange red peach those are warm undertones those look best with golds right for cooler undertones blue um you, you rarely see green but you know sometimes it's a, it's a lackluster effect when the skin looks green um mainly just bluer veins um tend to look reflect best in silver if there you just cannot decide and the skin is like really olivey sometimes that can be depicted as a little bit neutral so you want to fare on that neutral end you know if they both look good in silver and gold so that's how i like to tell beginners to look at color and start to like understand like your undertones and things of that nature because you can really 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 go deep into undertones okay and it also just depends on how you like looking. 
personally i am really warm i have nothing but peach and red undertones and i like to really bronze up and make myself look even warmer um that's just me though but you do need to be careful when you want to look extra bronzy because you can get muddy really easy really fast okay but i'm gonna I'm go into how to prevent yourself from looking muddy when we get to our contour stuff but i kind of just wanted to um touch on colors a little bit as i'm doing my concealer because you know i don't really have to explain nothing here and i'll attach those videos at the top as i as i've been doing lately um that way you can kind of like see it in action and see how like the videos connect okay um yeah so we're just going in blending this all out All right, so now we're going in our second concealer. This is the Too Faced Conceal and Define Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Natural Beige. And I'm just popping this only where I want that extra eye lift, that extra brightness at. Sometimes I like to take a little bit on the tip of my nose because, you know, it's contour video. So y'all want to get snatched, right? Y'all want to give, y'all want to give it all you got. So, yeah. So, um back to like color and how to figure out which colors to use you honestly honestly if you want to go like if you if you're one of those people that need like numbers like you want to be precise i would say like four to five most people say two to three but usually if you're it's not if you're taking into consideration the undertones and everything then that may work for you but if you're wanting to really like snatch your face you, you're not gonna get that real snatched look with only going two shades lighter you're not so that's keep that in mind when you're picking out undertones to complement your natural undertone so when you're picking out for your blush and your bronzer you know stuff that's adding extra warmth first <laughs> adding extra warmth to the face you want to think back to the color wheel and think about colors okay so listen to me i know this is gonna sound really really weird and i'm trying to i'm trying to break it down where it makes sense to somebody like me so hopefully you know y'all understand you know what i'm saying so think of it as like colors okay think of like your roy g bib y'all remember that one red orange yellow you know what i mean so you want to think about it like that because that's gonna tell you which color is gonna complement your natural undertone so you want to stay around where you are on the spectrum okay so like my undertones are red right so you have roy g biff red orange yellow green blue indigo violet roy g biff okay so i'm red so i want to complement that by bronzing up with something what's right beside it orange so you use bronzers with more orangey undertones to complement your red that makes sense so if you're more cooler undertones you're more green you're more olive skin you want to go on with what's right beside the green blue so you want to go on with something with more cool natural looking undertones to balance and bronze that out if you're already really cool and you need to bronze and you know tone that out you're not going to reach for a purple you're going to reach for a neutral purples are you know does that make sense so like you want to stick to where you are. The shade that's right beside you is what you want to reach for when you're grabbing for your bronzers and your contours. So hopefully, you know, that kind of like open your eyes. It's like, oh, that makes sense. Like, compliment. <laughs> like, it's like the ketchup to your mustard. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now that our concealer is placed in all of the areas that, you know, we would want a little extra plumpness, we're going to go in and complement it with contour. So, I feel like that's like a phrasing, a verbiage that would um, make a little bit more sense. Um, because not everyone's going to contour in the same place, you know what I mean? And it's, it's kind of hard to describe face shapes because, you know, you can have some features of everything. So, I mean, I guess you could go with, you know, which one would like be the closest to you personally depending on what i done ate that day my face is pretty oval but you know if i done ate plenty of good food that day i'm a little i'm a little round 
So, and then, you know, I don't like having no chin down there. So, we're going to have to get rid of all of it. You know, I don't really have a chin chin. But, you know, we're going to take care of all that. So, we're going to compliment where we highlighted at. Um, so, you if you want a sharper look, which is what I'm going for today. So, I'm going to use cream. Uh, I mean, a liquid everywhere. Um, but if you want a more softer, creamier look, then you can do the Makeup Revolution F18 stick, which I absolutely love. 10 stars. Highly recommend. I really love the brand like as a whole, period, if you couldn't tell already. Um, but yeah, this is a really great stick for cream contour. It's just Holy Grail, one of my absolute favorites. It blends like butter, like a dream. So I'm actually going to take a little bit on my forehead just to show y'all. So I just want to compliment by going right around where i um forehead itching <laughs> maybe i just want to compliment like right where i had my um concealer at and just so you can see like the concealer this is also in the color 18 um i'm gonna take this on the jawline so my highlighter stops here right so let me turn so you can really see my natural jawline is here Right, you see that from my earlobe? That's the natural jawline. So I like to take mine slightly above that. Just like that. That way it's lifting automatically. And it's, it gives you a more hollowed out effect. So I just take it a little bit below the highlight. But above the natural jawline. And then also the blush is going to go right here. And that's going to make that really, really pretty natural looking sniz edge. Okay. So I'm also going to contour my eyeballs. Because you know um no ma'am toucan sound <laughs> you need to come to your eyeballs i know it's crazy but i just like how contoured eyeballs look especially you know here like me i have a lot of lid space but my eyes are they're not crazy hooded but uh, you know what i mean like mm, i don't have like lid lid space i have like eye socket space it's weird i don't know it's kind of chinky. It's kind of not. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Um. And then we're gonna take a little bit down here on the jaw line where that chin is, cause you know, bitch, I want to look good. <laughs> so you're you wanna you wanna just sculpt out what you want, okay? So if you want more, if you want less jaw, bring it down a little bit lower. Because, you know, if you already have a strong jawline, you don't want to follow what I'm doing because my jawline isn't super strong. It's not super defined. So I'm not, you know, if you got one of those beautiful, like, uh, Jada Chi jawline, don't put all that content on there because you're going to look like a man. So, you know, if you're blessed with natural jaw, don't create man, girl. Period. If you're blessed with cheekbones for the guys don't add a little extra up there you know what i mean if you got a big ass forehead like the rest of us throw a little extra on there you know what i mean like make it work for you do what it do so now we're just going to get that blended in there you this is i know i preach about placement all the time but this is one of those really important places where placement is key where you put it that's where you want to blend it because if you start dragging the product around and also you want to blend going in upward motions too um because if you start doing like this where you're just dragging that product down instead of just tapping and blending it out where it is um you're gonna get a drag tired looking face you don't want that you putting on makeup so you don't look like you've been out all night long you know what i'm saying so you want to tap where it is and if you feel like you know you got a little extra product and you just need to move it around to do it tap it upwards okay and this comes from somebody that's heavy-handed okay so really tap and blend where it's that you shouldn't really have that much product because if i don't take a lot out then y'all shouldn't because you know it's like a South Carolina thing, I reckon. I don't know where, you, I don't know where that heavy handedness come from. And you just, ah! you see how good that could, girl. Pull up in my hair, best dress. Upgrade. Who's next? Rich boy. Mm -hmm. Say that nigga bitch. I put my new man on a leash. And 
And like I always say, y'all, there, there's no right or wrong way to do this. If you find a way that works for you, that is great. By all means, I want you to get that snatch by whatever means possible. But this is just how I'm doing it over here. Okay? So just keep that in mind also. Um, I don't have brush prep. Well, I do have brush preferences. But another thing, you know, when it comes to brushes, I mean, use what makes you comfortable. I see a lot of people use contour brushes to apply foundation do what makes you comfortable there's no necessarily right or wrong way you know you can blend this out with your beauty blender if you feel like that's going to give you a more you know toned down blended finish i don't like that just because i like to keep my products on certain things just so that when i go back in to soften everything up i know what i'm reaching for if that makes sense to you okay um so yeah so i'm gonna blend out my eyes I like to use um like eyeshadow brushes. Not, yeah, eyeshadow brushes for my eyes and also from like my nose contour. Um things of that nature. And that's why I also like starting with your um highlighted areas first. I've seen like some people do contour first, then they go in to like soften with concealer. But I just feel like when you go in with concealer after the effect isn't as visible if that makes sense like it's very soft looking it's very i just did all of that for no reason looking you know what i'm saying and y'all know i don't like nothing like that like stuff like that make me mad because why am i doing this and i feel like y'all the same way like you know you get so hyped you get so excited to do contour you get so excited to follow these tutorials but it's i don't want to say it's misleading but it's like it ain't given to you in the good fashion that you needed to be broken down into. Like, I just need to know what do I need to do from get to, from point A to point B? How do I make myself go from a frog to Tiana? How do I play these niggas? <laughs> That's what I want to know. It's like rainy glitter. Make sure ain't no stone. Ain't no stone. It's literally rain and glitter. Maybe that's the God that's telling me, bitch, you did that, like, <laughs> woo, hashtag taking plastic surgeon's money on 2021, because who needs filler when you can just do this, you know, besides the fact that, you know, wanting to wake up and look good, too, because, you know, I totally get that, like, it's the whole point of me getting, like, everything done. <laughs> So I can just wake up pretty like ugh. And before all the little little beauty activists come in here. Yeah, but you fine, Jimmy. You don't need all that makeup. It looks heavy. It looks stupid. Whatever. Girl. Okay. If you don't know how to do it, just say that. If you ain't willing to be patient and learn how to get the same effect, just say that. If you done gave up on all things of beauty and makeup and you just want to be stuck in a rut, just say that. Matter of fact, no, don't say that because honestly, I ain't even going to read it. I'm just deleted. Like, <sighs> Anyway, back to my type of people. <laughs> that ain't scared you know, like, let me get this. Let me get this beat real quick. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And it's not to, like, offend anybody either, but it's also, like, don't come on here trying to offend me and my, me and my flock. Like, let us be great. All right, so the face look good. <laughs> you did it. You got this far. I'm so proud of you. You did it. Girl, you look good. Okay, it's on the other side. Let me see. Let me see the jawline. Okay, I see. I like what you did there. Okay, let me see the other side. Okay, wait a minute. Go go blend right here. Go blend right here. Right here. Just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Now, let me see. Yes, yes. Okay, pat this in with your finger. Yep. A little more. Keep going. Good girl. That's it. That's it, shout. Okay. So, next, we're going to lock it all down with powder. And we're going to finish up. Because, I mean, you don't put all this work in, all this chiseling, you know. You want that thing to last. 
All right, so I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. Really, you know, mashing and working that in. Because like I said, powder is, that's what gives you the flashback, okay? Using like some chalk powder and then not properly setting the face with the powder, okay? I don't want to say that, you know, it's the user all the time. Because sometimes, you know, some powders just are not brown girl, tan girl, skin friendly. Okay. And I mean, I mean sometimes powder is, is even chalky on my little um, porcelain dolls too. But, you know, yeah, just really work that powder in there. I'm taking my one size beauty powder. And this is the powder that's going to sit here to really cook and brighten up. Um, I mentioned that whole process on a previous video. I hate making my video super long. Y'all know that. So I'm not going to rant on about that when it's already previously mentioned. So I will just attach it for you. And I hope these make sense. You know what I mean? Like, I got comments saying y'all love my energy and everything like that. So I'm taking that as y'all are understanding also what I'm saying too. Because they... Like, you know, like, I don't want to just, like, just be up here, like, goofing off with y'all. I hope that you're, like, you know, like, getting something. Hopefully. Like, I just want everybody to be able to, like, come to my channel and, like, take away one thing. Like, I don't care what that one thing is, but when you come here, I want you to feel loved and accept it and learn it. Just learn one thing from every video. Like, just one thing. I don't care what it is. It can be the craziest of things because Lord knows. Who knows what comes out of my mouth because, honey. And then y'all know I don't like no long videos. So, I don't always see everything that I say in the video because sometimes I just get so tired. Like, this is a little fun fact. Sometimes I get so tired from just, like, editing these videos. I'll just, like, post it. Like, I'll just, like, like I'll, I'll as I'm editing it, I'll just keep all the parts where I see my lips moving. That means I'm saying something. And it's just, like... We just got, we got to post. We got to post. So it's like, occasionally, like, I'll do that sometimes. And I was like, whatever's in there, it's in there. Hopefully, it wasn't nothing too crazy to get us violated or whatever. So, you know, sometimes I do that. So, when y'all, like, tell me, it was like, girl, it was when you said da 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 da, -da for me. I said, I said it. Now, wait a minute. Now, y'all going on terrible. Y'all is terrible. Now, let me, oh, and I'm like, God damn it, bitch, you did say that. Like, so it'd be shocking to me too. Like when y'all say that, I'd be busting out laughing because I'd be like, wait a damn minute. Now I know, I know good and well. I said a lot of stuff, but I ain't said that. Now I ain't said that. But I did. <laughs> I did say that. <laughs> All right. So now we are going to go in and bronze up the face. We're gonna bronze and then we're gonna contour. Okay, so there's a there's a big difference. Now let me let me add this because this is my pet peeve. Like I see really pretty girls all the time. I ain't no hater. I like you know I love I love everybody, but I cannot stand beautiful full face. I mean you got everything else right, but then you won't put on. Now, now, I mean, not now, drop a blush or bronzer to save your life. And I just be like, nah. hello? Hello? Excuse me, ma'am? You, for, you, you forgot to put your bronzer on. You need bronzer. Even if you have called yourself contour bitch that was pity as fuck <laughs> even if you've called yourself contouring what happens is if you set your whole face with powder or you know some people they like to dust their full face with the um with a, a, a pressed powder and if you take that over over your face where you've contoured it it washes it out so then there's no contour okay so then when you don't go back on top with bronzer and set your contour as well with proper colors, you know, we're hitting back on the coloring part. Oh, girl, I sound like a pastor now. Wait a minute now. Like Sunday school. <laughs> anyway, if you don't go back in and bronze and contour up and get the girls giving, 
it's not it's not going to hit and you're going to look just plain face. You know what I mean? You ever just seen somebody who just pretty face but it's just missing something. I mean, no definition, no nothing. They ain't got no bronzer on. Mhm. Mm if you knew the makeup, I'm going to tell you right now. If you that's that's how you get that look. Bronzer and blush. I know you're tired of hearing me say that every video, but it's it's <laughs> It's the backbone of makeup. It's the backbone of your face. Followed by brows. Brows and blush is just what set the tone. Because otherwise, you just, a, you just a plain face. I mean, no definition. Everybody want to lose some. Everybody want to lose some. Everybody want a little cheekbone, look, a little jawline, a little nose, a little tint under the lip, a little forehead. A little, no matter who you is, you want a little something or you have a little something. You have one feature that you're just so obsessed about and that's where blush and bronzer comes into play. That's where blush and bronzer, you love this feature. Okay, let's let's make this feature that feature. Okay, big dot. Period. Okay, so with that being said, you really I'm hitting on so many notes right now. It's just, it's crazy. Like put your blush and bronze on period you think you finished put some more blush and bronzer on more blush than bronzer preferably but you know if you if you if you're a little scared of it because it's a, it's a big risk because sometimes you know it's, it's a lot sometimes but put some on that's I, I ain't done my job if i have not told you the importance of a good blush and bronzer now, I tell y'all all the time how I like to get a good palette. That way, you know, you can play with different shades and things of that nature till you can get you a blush color that works great for you, okay? That way, you're not just out here buying random blushes, you know, like a $20, $30 blush, and, you know, not even be hitting enough for you. You know what I'm saying? Because I, when I started doing makeup and I started really obsessing with blush, I did that. I bought, like, all these $20 NARS blushes and then found out the only one that I really like for me is Orgasm. That's the only one that I really like from NARS, you know? Or, you know, it's or I have all those NYX blushes and I only like the orange and yellow one. So, get you some blush. More of the story. Like, get just. Get you some blush. Get your blush palette. You know, like I always, I like to talk about Juvia's places. I just think they're great. The Juvia's face palettes, you can use these on your whole face. You know, the Zulu palette and the Warrior. I feel like these are the best palettes to use for your eyes and your face, and they work well on all skin tones as well. Just like the Morphe just released those um complexion um rich palettes. Those are also really great. You know, to start brushing and blushing and bronzing. You know. They go together like two peas in a pod. So, I'm going to go ahead and bronze up using the Zulu palette. Just because it's really it's a really warm brown. The Warrior has more cooler tones also. So, if you're not going for as, as a rich of a color, you can do that as well. And don't also, don't let it think that, you know, it's too dark for you. Because what I like to do with, like, my lighter color clients, um, number one, this bronzer looks good on all warm skin tones it does because keep in mind when you're applying it you're applying it already on your skin that has your foundation has your concealer it has your powder so you know imagine applying this like right here where it's lighter of course it's going to look lighter i'm applying it here where it's darker and you know it gives this color you know what i mean so it's kind of like how, how i want to say it like kind of like cooking you know what i'm saying like okay i don't cook so Hear me out if this sound wrong. But like yo, you icing a cake, right? You putting it on you putting chocolate icing on a on a white cake, right? No, I don't want to say that. <laughs> okay, imagine painting a wall. Okay, you're painting a bare wall. One coat of that is sheer, so you can see through it. That's why you prime. You see how I threw that now that no, I didn't back in there about how important it is to prime the face. So you do one coat of the paint and that's thin and you can see through that. So like the base of the wall was white and you putting a, a, a pink coat of paint on there. Boom. Just, I mean, you see through it a little bit. You know what I mean? So it, it brings out, it plays off each other. What I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know where that went. I don't know if I got to where I was trying to get, but hopefully you like understood what I was trying to say that this color is really versatile. And it'll work on different skin tones. Like, hopefully that's what you got from that. 
All right, so I'm gonna take this um, densely head pack brush to make me a little blush combination. So I'm gonna take a little orange, a little pink, a little yellow, a little orange, a little pink, a little yellow. And the good thing about these is, you know, you can play around with the purples, you can play around with the green that's in there if you wanna just cool it off just slightly. Not a whole lot though, not a whole lot. Oh, that green in there because I done tried it just to cool it off. It works great, but I mean, you can barely tap it and then you need to knock all that off, okay? So, yeah. But that's why I really like this palette. Like, you can really just, like, mix and play with a little bit of everything. And I just like to take this. So, it's basically making, like, a Neapolitan sandwich. Like, you know the Neapolitan ice creams? So, you got the vanilla strawberry chocolate. So that's kind of like how I like to think about my cheek area. You know what I mean? Like, and that and that technique works on all skin tones too. So, you know, if you're a beginner makeup artist and you're learning how to like work on other faces other than yourself, Neapolitan, chocolate, pink, strawberry. I mean, chocolate, pink, vanilla. And I just like to really squirrel it. I like to bring it all the way over. Give me that sun kissness. Like, yeah, girl. Whoo, flew down to Miami last night. Oh. Got some sun, got a little something to eat, came on back home, you know, had to come to work today, child. You already know how that go. Look like I just laid in the sun bed all night. You know, just look like, just look, I like walking around just looking like I just got, you know, billions of dollars. Like, I like looking like I just flew back from Tahiti. That's how bronze and blushed up I want. I, I damn near want to look sunburned, like. You don't have to go that far, but if you do, I promise you're going to like the result. But I mean, as long as you do it properly and blend it out really well, like Mama Erica Tachi, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Like, look at me. Look at me. The thing about that is, though, if you go full force, you got to you gotta do it all over the face, though. That's the, whole, that's the only thing now. You know, you can't half ass it. That's one thing. If you want to go like really blushed up, you gotta, you cannot have acid. So, you see how I'm like just dusting a little bit all over? That's how you do it. Just the what's the word of the day? Compliment. Compliment. You compliment it. Period. So, I'm taking my Beauty Bakery highlighter. This one's called Glaze. And I want to use this because I ain't used it in a long time. And every time I use this, I just feel like, um, What's what's the name that you look at them and they turn you to gold? Everything he touched turned to gold. This this that King Midas right here. Watch this. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> everything everything touched turned to gold, baby God. Hallelujah. Let me go dust off a couple of bricks around this house or something, girl. Turn that shit to gold, baby. Let me take this to the bank, make a deposit. Looks so good. And I mean, you don't need but a little bit. Look at look how my lips so defined. You see the you see the um the natural arch. Look like I got a little filler up there. That's the power, of little highlight country, baby. That's the power. The power. <laughs> so cute, right? I be looking so mean. I be looking so mean. And I cannot stand it. Because y'all know I'm not mean. Like, I'm the meanest looking goofball. Like, ever. I'm put a little bit on the cheekbones. Just for just for YouTube. I noticed though. I really don't highlight my cheekbones like that. I really be dusting all this off with some blush. Like, I could care less about some highlighter. Like, I'm, I'm getting so old. Because it used to be the other way around. And I feel like that's how it is for everybody. Like, once, I'm glad I learned that quickly though. Once you realize it's not highlighter that set down, that make that face pop. It's really blush, like, like no cap, like it's really blush. Now I do love a really good highlighted nose, cause I put a lot of work into my nose, so of course I want to dig that out a little bit extra. But once you learn that it's really the blush that make your face like, oh, they got one thousand like whoosh, you know what I'm saying? That's when you really be like. God damn. Let me put a little blush in my bag just in case, you know, two o'clock touch up. I need some more. Because that's me. Like, apply more blush all 2020. Can Foodie say take care? That's what she meant. When that bitch said that, when that bitch was putting that tweet out there, 
bitch probably putting on some more blush as the fuck she should period By cheating on her with a bitch that don't even wear blush and bronzer. The audacity of these niggas. I cannot. Alright guys, so I just put a little gloss on because I ain't wanna I ain't wanna do a whole a lot because you know I just wanna uh, you know like really get y'all this face, especially after the first video was deleted. Um so hopefully this one you know, <laughs> was good for y'all. Hopefully y'all learned something. Hopefully you got a good takeaway from it. Hopefully, you know, I did my duty and let me know if I didn't. Let me know if it was an area that I skip and I will absolutely get that in there. I always feel like when I have to like redo a video, I always feel like I'm forgetting like a main chunk of information that I really want to put in there. But I'm probably just like being hard on myself, but who knows? So if you feel like I forgot something, please let me know and I will um update and get y'all another one out there and let y'all know whatever, however. But that being said, you look good, girl. God damn, you look good. Let me see you one more time. Yeah, flip around again. Girl, you look good. I taught you well. <laughs> but, guys, I love you. Thank you for tuning in to this video. Thank you for clicking on the links. Thank y'all for, you know, getting my channel out there. And I will see y'all in my next video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um... Turn your post notifications on. Uh, check out the other videos that I previously mentioned in this video. That, you know, you can put it together and make a big old face sandwich. Unless you're tired of me. Because, bitch, I do talk a lot now. I'd be tired too. So, you know. Thank you anyway. Thank you for the, thank you for the thoughts. Thought that matter. Appreciate you. And I will see y'all in my next video.